Hello everybody. This short seminar will offer up a selection of actionable tips to help you all transition to the next stage of your academic journey, second year. You may be wondering what qualifies me to suggest summer homework, so let me introduce myself. My name is Thomas Wylam. I'm a second year student and I've been working on CAD education enhancement under the Frontrunner scheme. As I mentioned, this is only a short seminar. We're halfway through and thus far, all I've done is speak about myself. So let's move on to those actionable tips. I only have five, but I've split them into two categories. Process, with suggestions for methodology, and practical, with suggestions for software functionality that you could learn to make use of. Without further ado, let's get started with the process tips. Develop a way to solve problems by yourself. CAD software is predictable. It has rules. So when things don't go to plan, it's usually human error. I've learned that when I encounter an issue, one of the best things that I can do is to pragmatically type out what I'm doing, step by step. This is the most helpful to troubleshoot when you know the features you're trying to use, but it just isn't quite working out as expected. This organised process has helped me to spot my own errors on countless occasions. Secondly, you need to become fluent in your methodology. Learn to speak about your work. Developing this ability fosters a deeper understanding of your process, essential in helping you to review and master the tools at your disposal. Not to mention the fact that many of you are a mere hop, skip and jump away from placement applications, where it will be imperative you can answer questions about your work that inspire confidence from potential employers. Finally, we move on to the practical recommendations, which are less abstract and much easier to enact. Make good use of reference images. Importing images into your sketches is integral to accurately modelling your designs. Make good use of reference sketches. Starting a reference sketch at the beginning of your part that contains the geometry you need to input all of the planes required for modelling helps keep things organised and adaptable. Two-point splines. These are underrated. Many people add far too many points to splines, which makes them jagged and behave erratically. In fact, many people don't even realise that you can create a spline with only two points, but maintaining control of those spline handles will help you to create smooth curvature. These tips are by no means an exhaustive list. Instead, they are purely a starting point based upon my personal experiences. Your personal experiences will of course differ, so you may well have even better tips. So go forth, experiment, and share your knowledge with your colleagues. To leave you with a closing remark, I found that the very best way to improve was to emulate the exercises you've done this term. Choose objects to model that challenge yourself, and when you surely get stuck, you'll have found the skills you need to learn. Some people, as I did in first year, fall into the trap of designing based upon what they can make in CAD, but it should really be the other way around. So get out there and get stuck in. Practice and experiment with CAD. If there is something that you can't do, learn to do it.